Well, hi, Morgan. Thanks Maria. for um, your talk today at the Species on the Move conference in uh, Australia. And um, I think it was very inspiring. You raised a number of very uh, interesting questions about uh, data um, um, standardization. And I'd like to ask you uh, um, what you think are the consequences of using uh, non-standardized uh, data in studies um, trying to assess uh, the magnitude of species rent shifts and the direction of species uh, rent shifts. Yeah, Miguel, so one of the problems with doing resurvey data where we're going back to the same place over different time periods and trying to look for the effects of rain shifts in response to climate change is that there's a lot of factors that can change between the original survey that was done often by different people a long time ago and the resurvey that we go back to. And if we're not careful in how we do this, then making these direct comparisons between historic data and sort of modern resurvey data can result in very different conclusions about how species have changed their range than actually have occurred. And so what, what we try, we're all trying to get to is to understand what the truth is. So we want to know sort of what the true range shift underlying is. And if we just go by sort of what might be naive data about uh, what we see from sort of looking at the data without carefully analyzing it is we're probably going to be overestimating the number of range shifts because our, our metrics are going to be overly sensitive. So we want to try and be careful and desensitize our uh, analyses a little bit so to make sure that we're only making conclusions about species whose ranges have shifted when those range shifts are true. So are, are you recommending um, discarding the existing data and going for new data or uh, are you just using new approaches to analyze the data? So I mean I think actually one of the great powerful things about sort of modern statistical uh, methods is that we can actually use data that perhaps 10, 15, 20 years ago people would have not, would have ignored, would not have used at all. So it's not that we're going to be sort of discarding data, but that we should be very careful about which data we use and how we use them and how we make that inference.